let's take a look at command line concepts. Redirecting standard input. To redirect standard input, use the input redirection operator. The input redirection operator is the left angle bracket character, or the less than sign on the viewport. We will demonstrate standard input redirection with the command sort. The command sort sorts lines of text. Sort reads from the standard input stream, which by default is attached to the keyboard. Here, as enter is pressed right after typing sort, the program is waiting for input from the keyboard because we did not supply any files to sort. Let's supply a few lines of text. To signal the end of text, we press Control D, that is, hold the Control key on the keyboard and press D. See that sort has alphabetically sorted the lines that we just typed at the keyboard. Let's redirect the standard input of sort to take text from a file instead of the keyboard. Let's create a file called fruits.txt. Our file now contains the names of fruits. Each fruit name is one line of text. To use fruit.txt as the input to sort, we use the input redirection operator, followed by the input file's name. input redirection operator, file name. We see that sort has alphabetically sorted the lines of text from fruits.txt and displayed the sorted text to standard output, which is redirected to the screen. Input redirection can only be used on commands that would normally read input from the keyboard, such as sort. Commands that do not read in input from the keyboard, such as ls, cd, and date, will simply ignore input redirection if it is used. Let's see the effect of input redirection on a command that ignores input redirection. This command displays the contents of the directory Etsy x11 to standard output, which is currently attached to the screen. Now let's try to display the contents of this directory and also redirect standard input. See that the command ls has executed but it has ignored input redirection. 